welcome to Girl Talk Algarve, our YouTube channel. We are three ladies that live in the Algarve and the reason we decided to set the YouTube channel up was because we like to talk a lot <laughs> and you will soon realise that. So I'm going to introduce everybody to you. So this is Ava at the end, um, Dawn, Lady Dawn and I'm Leslie. So we're going to talk a little bit about ourselves and why we now live in the Algarve, beautiful Algarve. So Ava. Yes. Hello everybody. God, I'm so artificial here. I need to relax a bit. Um, uh, I just moved to the Elgar. I came here five months ago and I've been living in Copenhagen for 30 years and I just wanted a simple life in a nicer climate. So I closed my clinic in Copenhagen and here I am just enjoying, talking, eating, vegetarian, drinking water because I do not drink alcohol and enjoying girls. Yes. Um, I'm Dawn. Uh, I've lived in the Algarve for six years now uh, with my other half and our about 25 cats. But my favourite little Boris, Boris the Bastard, as you all know. So I spend my days lazing about in bed until I get up at about 12 to make Rod's breakfast. Um, and then maybe we have a swim and a drink and then it's what's for dinner. In between that, I do write books and plays and other rubbish. So we have a very fulfilling life here <laughs> in this beautiful place. It's marvellous, it's wonderful, and we look forward to seeing all our friends on a regular basis coming and visiting us. As long as they don't stay for more than three days. Leslie. And they do tend to stay more than three days. It's right. a problem. <laughs> So I moved to the Algarve about four years ago now. I came here to mend a broken heart. Aww. Aww. And I was hoping I would meet a millionaire with a yacht. No, I met a man with a little dinghy. <laughs> um, but I am still looking for a millionaire. So if there's any out there, she's available. Okay, you know where to find me. <laughs> Just have a look at the YouTube channel and you'll find me. But I, I honestly do love living here in the Algarve. I do four, jo four jobs. I'm a waitress at weddings. I work on EU projects. I'm a massage therapist. And we will touch upon a lot of funny stories mm. I have to tell you about the people. We sort I of overlap that way. Oh, <laughs> oh, there's a lot of overlapping going, let me tell you. Some of my massage therapies I do. A lot of overlapping. <laughs> so I, but I love living here. It's a great place to live. Obviously, the sun shines most days so it's a great place to be isn't it's it fantastic, and yeah. we've met some made some great friends so we've been friends for a while yeah, now, Dawn and, yeah. I, and Eva and I met at a beauty mm, beauty day a beauty day yes couple, two or three years ago now I think mm, wasn't it I think even four because yeah COVID's could be because of Covid mm. yes, yes we've all forgotten yeah. two years haven't we two yeah. years of our life has, has gone by like that yeah. Yeah. yes so but we all having a great time out here so we're basically all we're going to do now is just talk a little bit more about the Algarve a little bit more about what what we do and how much fun we have out here so we're just going to sit and chat about what we do and hope you enjoy it <laughs> we're going to take some serious we're, subjects as no, well, we, we are going to do some serious, serious subjects yes. mm, not too serious, <laughs> not too <laughs> serious. Yeah. So, i am the serious yes, one yes ava is the serious one mm -hmm. and the non and the non-drinker mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we, we and don't like to drink but well, true. Not me. But yeah. No. Not and people do ask me why I'm in the old garden when I don't drink wine, but you know, yeah. there's other the, things here as well. There is. Yes. But the Portuguese wine is fantastic. So I really don't understand. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's a crazy. She is a crazy one, clearly, because we're not crazy. Right? No, no. Not at all. no. But Dawn's a writer, and this is where it becomes really interesting because I read Dawn's first book. <gasps> Oh, that was Many years, years ago. ago now. Yeah, my first book was published. Call Me Elizabeth. It was published, God, in 2005. Yeah, it was 2005. It's a long time ago now. It's a great book. That's a, just a very tiny plug. Um, available on Amazon and good bookshops <laughs> near you. Um, you probably find it a good bargain, bargain basement. Oh, there's some charity, charity shops. shops. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a different kind of life that I used to lead. Um, We've all had lots of experiences, I think, between us. We've done lots of different jobs. We have lots of different views and, uh, on, and outlooks on life. And we just really felt that we could share these things with you guys. And hopefully some of you will contribute as well and come on and be our guests. 
because I think we've got some very interesting friends between us. No names, but you know, there's some stories out there. So, and the stories yeah. are going to come out. Yeah. Believe me, these stories are <laughs> yeah. going to come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I think, what are we going to start with today? Well, I, I think we should just touch upon what we used to do, perhaps in the UK, mm -hmm. a little bit. I was working, before I came here, I was working at a drug and alcoholic rehabilitation centre, which really, I don't know, changed the way that I thought about life, actually. It just made me think life is too short. Mm. Before that, I was working in a lot of corporate industry, you know, um, finance, um, just something, everything that was just not real I suppose and then when I started to work at the rehabilitation centre just made me really focus mm. on what's actually really really what important. matters in life what mm. matters in life mm. and that's really one of the the reasons obviously apart from trying to mend my broken heart another plug there for the millionaire <laughs> but um actually you don't even have to be a millionaire yeah. <laughs> just a to be honest really. just a pulse <laughs> <laughs> pulse will do but so I um but it just made me just mm. Like think right, life is life is too short. You know. I think we've all had that apocalyptic, mm. yeah, an moment. epiphany or whatever yeah, you call yeah. it. Yeah, when, when you just think, oh, hang on a minute, there is more to life yeah. than just going to work on the train every day, coming home, cooking the dinner, watching yeah. rubbish on the telly, going to bed, doing it all again, being on that treadmill. Yeah. And here we don't do that, do we? No, life, you know, life is very different. Life get, is nine to five. If here, you want to go out on a Wednesday, you do. Uh, it's a different If you want to go out on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, Friday. We did. What Saturday. day it was a Tuesday we went out? And, yeah. and it's great. It's a different kind of atmosphere. It's a different kind of life. Children are children for longer here. Mm. There's so much for them to enjoy. It's the weather, obviously, that contributes yeah. mainly to that yeah um the great outdoors compared to the uk uh the population here is um, it's 10 million so the density of population is so much less there's less traffic on the roads the beaches are not so packed you can even get parked the height of summer can't you and, and, and you don't get clamped no. you don't get a ticket <laughs> You know, it's, <laughs> it's well, don't talk about tickets. okay, okay, okay. Mm. But how are you doing with the language, ladies? I, I, I speak a lot of words, I must say. I, I might know <laughs> a couple of hundred words actually. Yes. Yeah. Uma, yeah. Um, yeah. Uma copa de vino tinto. Let's yes, see. Yeah. Okay, that's obviously yeah. still wine, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> glass of white wine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> glass of red wine, yeah. Okay. But I can't put a sentence together. I just simply can't, yeah. you know? No, but you can I, say that. Yeah, but I don't drink wine, so what am I going to use it for? No, copper de vino, de, de agua con gas, or agua. <laughs> yes, yeah. I Fresh think agua. Yeah. I think you say si, un galao, por favor. Yes, that is, that's uh, a sentence. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah okay. Por, is it por favor Spanish? Or is no, it's no, it's fresh favor. It's a fashion for here. Yeah. Literally, all I say is bon dia and tutti bene and obrigado. If you make noises say. like, mm, that's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, no, I can say, I can even go to a local mechanic and like get my car fixed and stuff. Yeah, I can. Oh, I, I, wow. I can. Yes, I can. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I'm impressed. I, I do speak five languages. We, that we yeah. have been in I a restaurant that. before and not understood anything and sat there going, moo <laughs> and um, <laughs> cluck, cluck, cluck. <laughs> Do that, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. I'm trying. Are you going oink oink? And yeah. no, <laughs> it's, no. It's, what can you do? What do you know? What the first time I tried octopus was here in in Portugal. Oh, lovely! Oh, it was delicious. Mm. Absolutely that was the delicious. first time a few years yeah. ago. Yes, a few years ago, first time I'd ever had octopus, and I have to say I loved it. But my daughter, and I, she'll be watching this, so I do apologise, Danielle. <laughs> Danielle doesn't think I should be having anything from the sea. Really? I yes, I don't quite she's know why, that she's, documentary. she's watched uh, one of the David Attenborough the, 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 documentaries. There was one on um, the ocean, wasn't there? Yeah, I know. so when I tell her I eat octopus, octopus she goes... You had grilled squid. Yeah, you yeah, had yeah, grilled squid. Yeah, yeah, such a clever animal. Yeah, such a clever animal. So when you've seen that okay. movie or film... You yeah. Can, yeah, but they, they taste nice. nice. And covered in garlic. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh God. <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> all those little fluffy baby lambs that run around the fields. Yeah. Oh, yum, yum. Oh, no, yum, no. yum. This is going to yeah. be a show itself, I can tell Mint you. Sauce. Because, Ooh, mm, yeah. Mm, no. All that little... Oh, blah, blah. Blah. bless them. It's great. <laughs> oh, I'm, ta I'm talking about mint sauce and lamb, but you can take the girls out of England, but you can't take the roast. No. Right? No, I mean, no, I still no, like no. a Sunday carvery here. 
Oh yeah, I've got a friend, Katie, who um, makes the most amazing Yorkshire puddings. Okay. And Katie's she, surname, just so she gets a plug. With Katie, the Katie Cleeton, <laughs> and she makes the most amazing Yorkshire puddings, and they are huge lovely, and fluffy lovely, and, and lovely. Invite me for dinner, Kate. Yeah, and me. <laughs> and obviously, if you've got your spare men. <laughs> Oh, I'm only joking. I'm joking. She's I'm joking. not joking. I'm joking. She's, She's not, not joking. joking. She's not joking. Okay. Mm. So, yeah. Are you looking for a man, Eva? No, for sure not. The quality of men is simply too low. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> And we both have had Portuguese boyfriends since we've been yeah, here. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. Goodness. Yeah, no, mm, no. Mm, mm. Are your standards lower than hers then? I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, this is the criteria. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, the Portuguese man, well, I've actually dated a couple, I think, but the first Portuguese man I dated was in the GNR and he arrested me. <gasps> and, um, and then we started to I date each story. other. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 We are going to do a separate show about dating in older life. In 50 plus. 50 plus. Yeah, because 50 we plus. are 50 plus. It doesn't Speak show, but yourself. we are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you've been drunk driving ever since, hoping to be arrested again? Yes! Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well obviously, out. I was banned. I was banned for quite a few months. So then I, you know, I just, just walk the streets. <laughs> <laughs> again, we're back to that again. I know, sorry. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, I'm only yeah, joking. Let's yeah, go back yeah. to talking about the beautiful old girl. Yeah. 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 Let's go back to, like we said, we, why we moved here and the 8 to 4 life. Because I do, it comes back to that this eight is a society. Four. What is this 8 to 9 to 5 then. Nine 8 to 4 in Scandinavia. Oh, to four. I'm from Scandinavia. Five. Yeah, it's 8 to 4 there. Oh, Maybe right. even 8 to 5 if you're no, not it depend, no, but it, it, Doesn't it depend when Holmes Under the Hammer finishes? I thought that was... No, no. life doesn't start after Holmes in the Hammer. Under the hammer. hammer. Sometimes it starts after Bargain Hunt. <laughs> does it? No. Yeah. 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 These yeah. girls no, are just too no, no, no. It no, starts no, no. after Lorraine, Lorraine on, on oh, really? ITV. I've never She's seen that. It's far too early start for Start about me. nine o'clock? No. No. What is that? Nine o'clock? Are you just getting in? That's, that's in the evening when you go yeah. to bed. <laughs> yeah. No, you're not getting in then, aren't you, from yeah, the bars? Might staggering back up the hill. I've done that a couple of times. Yeah. That's the other okay. Katie. <laughs> <laughs> So you can tell we're going to have lots and lots of stories to tell mm, you, yeah, lots yeah. of experiences to share with, share with you. Mm. But I mean, yeah, reasons for moving to the Algarve, a lot of people that are here have moved big for a reason. Yeah, yeah. Isn't there? And know? I mean, the, the, the society out there, I mean, when you are a success is when you have power and you have money and not everybody fits into that frame. Yeah. Or we realise when we become a little bit older that we don't want to chase that and then, you know, yeah. we want a different life, yeah. don't we? Absolutely. But it's all based on that, isn't it? it, it it's rather... To improve the quality of your life. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. the yeah. quality, not necessarily yeah. the money, no. but, but the quality. Absolutely. Exactly. When I, was, when I was in the UK, you know, a Saturday for me would be going to the shops. Mm. It would be a day around the shops with my girlfriends, lunch, great shops in the UK. Mm. You know, so you'd spend your money on material things, mm. Mm. new bag, new shoes, new dress. Absolutely. Like I can't tell you the last time I went clothes shopping here because our shops in Portugal are not, not as really. great as the no, UK, no, are they? No, no. So I don't, I just, I don't think I've done that. I don't think I've had a day, a girly day shopping. It'll be a day at the beach. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Here. You do it differently, you know? And yeah. it's so but, different. But, but the, the constraints of fashion are not the same here, are no. they? No, no. You, you don't no. feel the same pressure. No. no. You can wear not whatever you like. I mean, there's some of those Portuguese girls, some yeah. of the, they're dressed up to the nines with glitter from head to toe. Yeah. Diamante and a bit of sparkle and... Yeah. Do you mean to go to cheese or do you mean the Brazilian? To, 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 pros, pro, pros their tro, to push their trolleys around Asda? Or yes, they do. Around they little, do. Little, You're right. They? Yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah, they do. But I don't feel that pressure here. No. I don't feel the pressure like I felt in, in the UK. So have a new, have new dresses no, and stuff. No, 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 I don't. I'm, I'm recycling. I'm wearing the same clothes out nearly every weekend because I haven't been shopping. But it doesn't no. matter here. Uh, no. You don't feel the same pressure. No, you don't at all. Unless no. it goes on Facebook, and then of course you need a new frock because everyone's seen it. Seen it on Facebook. But even then, I don't think I. I don't no, think I don't care. No. How, That's good how different was it in Sweden? Was that? Was it the same? Completely different. Completely yeah. different. Yeah. 
and uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, you you follow the fashion, and, and everybody yeah. judges you, and everybody yeah. knows what brand you're wearing or not oh, wearing. Oh no, yeah. yes, yeah. anything sure. like that. And I live not even I lived in Copenhagen, Denmark, for the last thirty so years. So it's the capital. Yeah. Yes, it's the capital, yeah. and it's a very fast city. I mean, yeah. it goes fast, and you have a career, and and it's important. Yeah. Your looks and and. Uh, your hair and your everything. It is the criteria people judge you. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Here, no. No, and you love that about here. Yes, about being here. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. The girls told me to wear makeup today, so I do. But yeah. otherwise, yeah. I really don't. But Because a lot of people mm. that I know that have moved here have struggled actually mm. with that mm. and have had to move back to the really? big cities because they have found it too slow yes. out here. You know? I mean, I love that slow Oh, it's wonderful. Life, Just not having to do things you don't have to do things and i mean i'm blessed that i can work from home mm. so yeah you know i think it is fine if it's you are amazing. retired or yeah not it's amazing again, to be yeah. able to potter around the garden and yeah. not feel the pressure to go out and do things and yeah and to be places and it's much much more easy going and go with the flow so, and yeah. i think it's important to say that it is for us isn't it because the portuguese work really hard Yes, they do. They, oh, do. Yeah. they are not like laid back and yeah. the money doesn't no. come easy to them. No. They do yeah. work hard and, and they, they, they struggle to pay their rent. I mean, to yeah. pay their rent. But, so, the, but yeah. then rents here for the Portuguese that are in their houses and they've been there for a while, you know, there's a lot of places that have been owned for a long time mm. by the family. So Absolutely. a lot of people don't have rent. Mm. There's a different kind of law here with housing, the law of succession. So the children automatically inherit and people are not in the same financial positions with huge mortgages mm. and yeah, council right. tax and bills like they are in England. Obviously there are, there are bills um, and electricity is going up, but it's not quite the no, same. And, and also if you have a look around a Portuguese family home, they haven't got the latest no. designer furniture, no. have they? And all the big TVs on the wall. They're not, you, you know, you look around mm. a, a Portuguese home and they've got really traditional family Basic things. furniture yes. that's gone yes. back for, for they don't, years. They don't you know, seem they to don't... Wa- there's not the waste. No, no. No, no, no. there's not the waste. And no. people utilise things much more sensibly here. And, yeah. and if you... When we when, when I clear out my wardrobe and, or, you know, people have stayed over the summer and you've, lo- you've got books and flip-flops and God knows what, I don't take them to the charity shops. I put them in the a bag for life or whatever, and I put them by the side of the bins. Yeah, that's true. And yeah. trainers, yeah. shoot, whatever. Yes. And then you know, literally, somebody will take them. Yeah. Yes. yeah. We put we put yeah. everything down by the side of the bins. Yeah. Like things like scrap metal, whatever. Yeah. And there's just no waste. Well, I felt really lovely. guilty about doing that. I, somebody told me to do that, and I had a bit mm. of a clear out, and I was putting. Oh, all sorts of things, like an old TV. No. The TV worked, but I just bought Leave a bigger there, TV. Yeah. But I felt awful that I was doing that. I thought, I'm sure there must be, because in the UK, we can't do that. No. We'd have to go to a recycling mm. centre, mm. or we would have mm. to se- sell it online. Yes. And everybody say, no, go and leave everything yes. there. And I got really carried away with doing that now, because mm. it was only down the bottom of the road. Mm. I thought it saves me, you know, trying to find a recycling centre But center then there's here. the municipal tips as well. You know, down here in Lule, we have... Um, a big waste area where there's a huge skip and everybody just could take their garden rubbish, yeah. whatever down there. Yeah. You can leave a TV, a fridge, anything you like at the side of the skip and the next day it's gone. Okay. Obviously because the temperature's a lot higher here, uh, the council are much better at, obviously they, they take the rubbish away every night. Um, it's great. And people, yeah, you see people too. dumping stuff off and anything we've got that is even vaguely reusable, we leave outside the skip, yeah. so that if anyone wants it, they can. I've yeah. left chairs, left all sorts of stuff. When we moved to this house, it was absolutely crammed full. And it was like the Marie Celeste, it was full of furniture and full of everything that belonged to this family. Um, so we took it all and gave it to charity or took it to the skip. Some, there was lots of riding clothes, all sorts of things. Um, we didn't just be didn't waste it. Thing. No, no. no. We've because got a charity here called Algar Families in yeah. Leeds, haven't we? Oh, they're amazing. And, um, Bernadette Abbott, you are amazing. Oh, you're amazing. <laughs> Bernadette. Don't know you, but you're amazing. I, I know Bernadette. Shots. She's amazing. She's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> and it's a great charity, isn't it? Because, you know, without them, a lot of the families, especially through COVID, yeah. um, was a nightmare. You know, we did a, did a food shop for them, didn't we? Every time we went and did our own food shop, yeah. we did a food shop for, um, for a family, mm-hmm. and they had the pick up pick up points and you know places so fantastic charity well fantastic. we've we've been 
you, sometimes you see on Facebook here, people say, oh yeah, I've got this, I just want rid of it, want to get rid of this. And often if we've had, when we've had sort of bigger vehicles here and estate cars, we've gone off and picked up the things for free yeah. and then we get in touch with the family's need and say, we've got all these free things, you know, do you want them? And they always say yes, or I've found them first and say, we've got this stuff. Do you want us to pick it up for you? We can bring it back here and you can collect it at your leisure. Yeah. Yeah. We've got room to store stuff, so we've we've collected all sorts of things. And yeah. people have been really kind yeah. and given loads of things. People are kind, and I have mm. found that since mm. I've been here, actually, mm. that most people that I've met have been wonderful yes. and kind people. I don't think I've met any... Oh, no, I have met some dodgy people. <laughs> There's a lot of dodgy people. No, but it's true. In general, I think people are you know, yeah. concerned about each other. Yes, they and, and yeah, reaching they look out, out for each other. Yes, here, yes. yes, they do. Mm. And there is a lot of charities. Yeah. And a lot of, lot of animal, 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 lot of animal, animal charities. Animal charities. Yeah, but people have got time. Mm. You know, they have got time. We've got those marvellous charity shops, one in mm. Amundsil and one in Lule, um, that support the animals. Wolf, Wolf yeah. yeah. And... They're fantastic. Mm. Yeah. They raise loads of money. Mm. Uh, they're having a charity fashion show soon. And that's great. There's, but because people have time to volunteer. Absolutely. And a lot of people who are retired here, they want something to yeah. do. Yeah. It's a great thing to give something back, isn't yeah, it? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. It really I was is. plucking carobes the other day. You were doing what? Plucking carobes. Plucking carobes. Oh, right. Yeah. To support the charity. Oh, a lot of people have these trees in, in the gardens and it just falls to the ground, all yeah. the robes, and they don't use it for nothing. So a lot of charities, especially dog shelters. Yeah, they yeah. ask if they can have them. Exactly. Oh, so you go yeah. up and you pluck it all up and they go and sell it. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that is a, a way a lot of the dog charities earn money. That's so really I did that. good. I have two guests visiting from Denmark. So uh, I signed them up as well. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And then did you have to go for That's that? really Where amazing. Was that? that was in, in uh, Tavira, actually. Oh, I used okay. to work as a volunteer in the dog yes, shelter there. Yes. Yeah. So it was via them. Yeah. 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 But that's, that's really good. As mm. The beach cleans is good, are good mm. as well. I think they're fantastic. Yeah. Although people here are amazing. We don't get rubbish on the beaches, we do we? Don't. But you don't have rubbish in the streets. It is amazing here. People yes, do too. not throw rubbish down. The, it's so clean here. I think we're selling the Algarve too. We are. <laughs> we are. Don't, don't come here, it's horrible. Don't, don't, stay away. What was that population doing? You said earlier. Yeah. 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 We don't want a population yeah. 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 It's yeah. a terrible place, actually. Yeah. Mm. But no, yeah. the beach clean is a great thing. You know, get together on a Sunday morning, and not that I would know what a Sunday morning <laughs> is. But, you, you know, they go and clean. You turn up after bargain hunt. Was it after yeah. bargain hunt you turn up? Oh, no, so this is my day off, obviously. <laughs> oh, obviously. <laughs> That's me doing four jobs. Four jobs. Mm. I do. Four jobs. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I did work hard once upon a time, oh. but not anymore. No. Since I got poorly and then we came here, I just don't have the energy or the inclination. No. And we, we exchanged our lifestyle. You know, we live here instead yes. of what we were doing. Yeah, absolutely. And I did work very, very hard until until then. And then and now. I'm not saying I'm a kept woman, but my beloved. Well, I'm a kept woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it for you. Yeah. I'll lay on him hand and foot. You do. I do. I bring him his breakfast in bed. Yeah. He's very yeah. lucky. I squeeze yeah. his oranges. <laughs> what she calls them. I call them plums. No, I she calls them oranges. <laughs> and he gets a lemon as well for his, you know, yep. health. Yep. And I bring him his does. breakfast and give him his honey and stuff like that. It's all really good. It's it's okay. Yeah. It's not for me. So if there is a man like that, don't be expecting your oranges squeezed every morning. <laughs> <laughs> what could she mean? <laughs> Anyway, um, ladies, I think mm. that's fine for now. Mm -hmm. um, we've got lots more topics that we're going to be talking about. So please tune in because we have got some fantastic um, things that we would like to share with you and life's experiences. And if you have any topics you would like us to discuss. Yeah, let us know. Yes, let us know. And if you would like to appear on the show. Oh. Let us know. <laughs> we're going to have some guests. We've got some lined up who are very mm. interesting people all with a story to tell but if you feel there's something you want to discuss with us or you want to join in one one of our upcoming topics let us know and you can come along to the boudoir <laughs> <laughs> and also we will be out on location yes yeah. yes so we will be out and about in the algarve so if you see us give us a wave <laughs> so thank you thank, thank you for you. tuning in and we will Have see you very day. soon bye bye, bye.